Hey, what do you say my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're cooking on the Uni Coda 16. And I wanna point out that Uni is not sponsoring this video, but they did send me a test unit. As many of you know, I have a couple of other Uni ovens that I have paid for and I love. And so I'm really excited to get to test this thing out and show you how it works. So with that, let me just give you a brief overview of this. And so we'll just start right where I'm standing here. On the back left, you'll see a single touch ignition. You just push it in, turn it to the left, and it'll start the fire. It comes with the hose, which now connects down to my propane tank. I put my pizza ovens on this stainless steel cart. It's got swivel casters. This is important when dealing with the wind. If you got the wind blowing right into the front of that, it's gonna cause you problems. And so with the swivel casters, I can just really easily turn it out of the wind. The measurements of the cart is uh, 24 inches by 30 inches. We'll come around the back. You'll see here three legs that fold up, which makes it easy to store and transport. It's pretty lightweight. I think the box said up approximately 50 pounds. And if we look, very sleek. It looks like a spaceship that cooks pizza. So it's black and gray. Right in here we've got an Uni logo. Then we come around to the front. Uni logo. And then inside, this is awesome. Check out that L-shaped flame. 29,000 BTU burner. Really hot, I can feel it from here. What's nice about this L-shape is you really technically will only need to turn your pizza one time to get an even cook. Nice, huge opening. That's a single piece pizza stone, 15 millimeter thick, or just a little over a half inch thick, quarterite stone. And I've had this warming up now for about 20 minutes. So let's check the temperature and see if we're ready to cook a pie. So we want roughly 720 degrees in the center at a minimum. And right on that uni icon in the middle, we're sitting at 756. That back left corner is the hottest part of the oven. That's up around 850. And then if I come all the way up to the front over here, we're sitting at about 430, 450 in that front right corner. So I'm ready to make a pie. I can turn this heat down just a little bit, which I'm gonna do. And now we're ready to make a pie. I'm doing a pie that I've made a hundred times before. Pepperoni, mushroom, mozzarella cheese, sauce. Let's do it. So right under here, this is sourdough. If you wanna know how to make this, I'll put the recipe up in the info card. It's another YouTuber's video, which I just think is awesome. It's probably the best I've seen. Follow his instructions and you'll get a dough just like this. It's sitting here on parchment paper. What I have here is some flour in a Parmesan cheese container. Uh, you could use semolina if you have it, which a lot of people recommend. And it's just a real super efficient way to uh, dust the dough, which is gonna help it prevent from sticking. Now I'm gonna flour my board a little bit. Now I can flip it, I'll peel back this parchment paper and the side that doesn't have any dough is gonna go down. And I love working with this dough, it's super soft. I take my fingertips in the center and push the gas all the way out to the edges and it's gonna give us that real nice airy crust on the edges. You can already see it here, that's all gas in there. So we'll do that, flip it over, and we're gonna do the same thing. And you just keep working it and pushing it out until it gets to the size you like. I'm gonna flip it over one more time. And now I can just stretch it by hand. Needs just a little bit more flour here so my hands don't stick. 
and now you can pick it up and let gravity do some work just like this around the edges if you're real adventurous you could toss it around up in the air but you won't be seeing that from me so that's good right there so that's about the perfect size i'm just making a little pie here for lunch and now i've got just a tomato sauce out of the can that we doctored up with some oregano some crushed garlic some other seasonings you can use your favorite and I'm gonna sauce this right up to the edges, leaving just a little bit without any sauce so it bubbles up. Looks like about two scoops will get the job done here. And I've got my pizza peel right here. This is what we're gonna use to launch it into the oven. I'm gonna put down just a very light layer of cornmeal, which is gonna help it launched real nice. Drag my dough over to give it one last stretch. Which I find really helps once the sauce is on there. It just does something extra for it. All right, I've got some fresh mozzarella cheese. Put that down. And not a whole lot of any one ingredient other than the sauce. I kind of like a lot of sauce on this. So just put down a little mozzarella, a few slices of pepperoni. find if you put a lot on there, these pizzas get really greasy. Uh, some people like that. If you do, then load it up. I'm just going to make a pie the way I like it. There we go. And now some Baby Bella mushrooms. And this is my favorite part of cooking pizzas in here. That temperature is so hot on the top. This pizza is going to cook really fast. It's going to cook the vegetables, but it's not going to dry them out. And they're going to have a ton of flavor. Especially if you're doing peppers, like green peppers. Tastes way better than anything you're going to get delivered to you. All right. There we go. So pepperoni, mushroom, mozzarella. Make sure it moves. Now let's get it in the oven. Here we go. This will be my second pizza I've done in there. I've got my pizza spinner here. And the instructions really say to go about 30 seconds before you flip it. So we'll just let this go. Seems like that's probably been about 30 seconds, so get the spin. And look at that leoparding. That's what they call those dark spots. That's not burnt. That is beautiful. So just go about another 30 seconds and call it done. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful pie. I gotta let it cool down to show you the underside. But let's do that, get it over on the cutting board. And this pizza's cooled down for a couple minutes. Cool enough for me to touch. So let me go ahead and cut this. And we'll give it a try. I know it's gonna be good though.
and this one looks pretty good so we'll try that I want you to take a look look at the crust the dough structure nice and airy sourdough is very easily digestible so you're not gonna get heartburn and feel all bloated how about the underside I would say that's a perfectly cooked crust now I got to give it a shot let's go here we go Oh my God, that is so fresh and delicious. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun testing that thing out. I'm gonna try and cook steaks in there and everything. That L-shaped burner, that was a genius idea. And hey, if you guys like this video, you definitely gotta check out one of those right there. And I'll see you over there.